Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? Um, today I will be doing a zombie zombie survival weapons review on the crowbar, which I think is something you're gonna need in zombie apocalypse, and it's a great defense weapon and offensive weapon, I guess, in a way. And I'll be giving you some facts about this crowbar. Um, this is a 24-inch a uh, ste long steel crowbar and it didn't have this grip tape but i put it on there because this octagonal the edges are here in the octagonal part they would really hurt my palm so i added the grip so i could have more control over it and it would it would stop that thing it actually feels like a tennis racket the way i put on the grip which is cool and i'll i seen in video games how people in Half-Life 2, especially, I'd be going Half-Life 2 style on these zombies. But i seen, especially in the video games, they hit it like that. They hit the zombie in the brain, in the head like that. I'm, I'm not sure if that would actually work because there's a possibility of it getting stuck. It's, it's obviously like a hook and it might get stuck. Depends how hard you hit it. But I'll, yeah, sure, I'll hit it this way. Because it would give you just a little bit more space between the zombie. Because this is a 24 inch long crowbar. There are other in crowbars that there's a foot size. Then there's the 18 inch. There's 24 long. And then there's the 36 inch. Like my grandpa has a 36 inch crowbar. And then there's actually a crowbar that has a little handle. Like it would have the little handle right here without this. It would have the little handle and it just has this thing right here. And my grandpa has that one. That one's that one's pretty cool. But I want to go Half Life Two style and just freaking murk some zombies. Um, and yeah, it would give you a little bit more room in this region right here because you would hit the head like that or like that, and it would give you that extra space between this little gap right here and then how long the crowbar is. And that's pretty essential if you're gonna go melee on a zombie. You gotta have some space. You. The only time you want to be right in his face if it's a last resort, like you're pinned down, you just stab a knife through him. Um, but yeah, I'll be hitting it like that or that way too. I think this way would be pretty effective, like that. And I'll be doing some some uh, coconut tests with the crowbar. I'm gonna buy some coconuts and test out the um, the damage it does because zombie go boom, they do. They do all this shit with other stuff that people can hardly get. I want to see reviews about everyday things like a crowbar. Because they did a crowbar type thing. They call it the Annihilator. I was like, damn, what the hell? Just in, show me a review of a regular crowbar, please. Or a hammer. Um, uh, just everyday household things. And they do some of that, but... Not like not like a crowbar or a hammer, just regular hammers. You get all this expensive stuff, and and I I I like it, yeah. But let's do something like this. And um, I'll be doing the the coconut tests on all that stuff. And I would suggest you guys buy a crowbar. There, I bought this at my local flea market, Traders Village, for four dollars. So, and I think. In the in stores, they're like seven dollars. I think I'm not sure. It depends on where you live, I guess. But um, the zombie, the I mean, excuse me, the crowbar is an all-in-all -all perfect weapon. You could break in the chest, doors, locks, windows. Well, anything you could break a window, but I'm just saying what it could do. Um, and definitely, I'm pretty sure definitely can kill a zombie. This is this is all steel, and you're just bashing brains in but uh yeah um i hope you like this review review and this video um i'll be doing other zombie video reviews like my bowie knife pellet guns um baseball bats hammers i got a sledgehammer if any of you guys want to do a review about that um and thanks for watching Please uh, like the video. That really helps out a lot. You guys don't have to subscribe. And yeah, peace.